My name is Alan Craft, and I just modded the Immortal Snail into Minecraft. For those of you who don't know the Immortal Snail, it's this idea where you and an Immortal Snail have a huge amount of money. You both gain immortality, and if the snail touches you, you die. So here it is, the Immortal Snail mod available on CurseForge right now. Let's just go through it. When you first load into the world, the Immortal Snail spawns roughly 20 blocks away from you. He very slowly chases you, and if he reaches you, you die. Full prop for netherite armor with enchanted golden apples and pearl master potions aren't enough to save you. He still one-shots you. This guy could see you from a thousand blocks away, he knows where you are at all times, and he's coming for you. And once I had this coded in, I thought to myself, you know what? I have the model already. Let's just make regular snails too. These guys are not hostile, they're not immortal. They spawn naturally in swamps, mangrove swamps, mushroom fields, and dripstone caves. They spawn in groups of one to four, and they drop raw snails in either snail shell shards or ooze. Each of these has their own little progression tree of what you can make out of them. Let's go ahead and look at the raw snail. So you obviously to start just have raw snail. You get it by killing snails. Each snail drops one. When you eat it, it gives you about the same hunger and saturation as a raw rabbit. And when you cook it, it gives you escargot, which is about the same hunger and saturation as a cooked rabbit. Now this can be crafted into a golden escargot, which is pretty much the same recipe as a golden apple, except for you have an escargot in the middle. And it gives you the exact same hunger, saturation, and effects as a golden apple. There's not really a reason to use this over a golden apple, but I just thought it'd be fun so I made it and then since I was at it I made the enchanted golden escargot which is made with four snail shells four blocks of gold and an escargot eating this gives you resistance 5 which is total damage immunity for 20 seconds which is a little overpowered but you are gonna need it the second thing snails drop is the snail shell shard which you get just by killing snails and nine of those can be made into a snail shell and snail shells we just saw were used for the enchanted golden escargot recipe but are also used for a new set of armor. You just make it with the same recipe as if it was made out of an ore, so it requires 24 snail shells to make the full set. And the set of armor looks like this. It's not intended to be like an overpowered armor piece, it's just like you strap some snail shells to you, like there's some on your knees, there's some on the sides of your feet, your shoulders, chest, back, and one strapped to the top of your head with a nice little chin strap. They don't give you a ton of armor protection, as you can see here, let me put these on. They give you some knockback resistance, which is nice, but their main draw is they have insane durability, which again, you're gonna need. I love how I'm being like foreboding with it as if you can't see the King Snail health bar on the top of the screen the entire video, but we'll get to him. The third thing dropped by the snails is ooze which uh, you just kill snails for. That can be put in a brewing stand over awkward potions to make the snail potion. You can make that into a splash potion. Splash yourself, it just gives you slowness and slimy. Now the slimy effect doesn't do anything to you, but when you splash the immortal snail with a splash snail potion, he evolves into the king snail for an epic snail themed boss fight. This guy has a thousand health and his defense is equal to that of someone with full unenchanted diamond armor. He's still an immortal snail, so he can't take any damage except for one type of damage he can take, which is player melee damage. So you have to get in melee range of him to hit him. It's a pretty tough fight. It takes roughly 40-ish, maybe like 45 axe crits if you have sharp five on your axe and strength two on you. And his attack range is three blocks. So you have to very carefully hang out at the edge of outside of his attack range while still staying inside your five block attack range and if you mess that up once, he one-shots you. To top it off, when he spawns in, he summons two snail knights. The snail knights are like a medium-sized snail, as you can see, and the goal was to have a snail that you can ride. Um, I admittedly kind of struggled to figure out the riding mechanic, so it's another weird thing where it just checks if it has the slimy effect on it, and it's hostile until you splash it with slimy, and then it tames him by despawning the hostile version and spawning in the friendly rideable version, which it's janky. I'll work on it. It's my first mod, but it's fine. But yeah, while he's hostile, he is still an immortal snail, so he can one-shot you as well. The king snail spawns in two of them, so now you've gone from one little guy after you to three three big guys after you. So basically just make sure that you're actually ready for this fight before you begin because uh, otherwise it's gonna suck. Once they're tamed, they're not hostile. They don't do anything. You can just right click to ride them. They won't fight you. These guys also have the same deal as the King Snail where the only damage that they're vulnerable to is uh, player melee damage. And I would say just be careful. They are set to retaliate against anything that attacks them even when they are the tamed version. So if you accidentally punch it and then try to get close enough to ride it, he will just one shot you. So uh, ride at your own risk. He's very slow. It's probably not worth it. Uh, basically don't ride this guy, but if you really want to, you can. 
it's a, it's a possibility. So when you're done with that encounter and you've beaten the king snail, he drops the immortal snail spawn egg, so you could spawn the immortal snail back in if you want, and a king snail ooze. The king snail ooze is used for one singular thing. It makes the reinforced snail helmet by putting a snail hat in with the king snail ooze. I believe this will clear enchantments off your hat, so use with caution. The hat looks like this. It's like a just a big snail shell on your head. I kept that chim strap from before. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like a football helmet type vibe. I have it shown with the netherite armor because I gave it the exact same stats as full netherite. I think it looks too bad with netherite. I kind of like it actually. I didn't want to add a super broken armor piece to the game so I kind of just reskinned a netherite helmet as you know there's your flex for if you kill them. And the last thing I added is the snail research table which is crafted like this which gives you the villager profession snail farmer. For the most part it's just relatively simple things you can give seven raw snail basically to get five escargot or you can give 11 snail shell shards to get one full snail shell if you don't want to craft these all yourself um you could trade ooze for emeralds if you want you can get golden escargots which are basically golden apples for emeralds this seems like a lot of emeralds at first but i mean honestly it's still pretty cheap by the time you're end game and you have a ton of like awesome trades going on turn them into a zombie a couple times and like you know this will be pretty cheap actually then there's the full set of just the snail armor which is what we saw over here that he sells and the last thing i want to show off because I just think it's cute, is the little baby snail. You can breed the regular snails with mushrooms, red or brown mushrooms, and they, they make this little guy. He's just the cutest thing ever, so yeah. If you want to play this, I have the link to it in the description for the Curse Forge download, or you can just look it up on there. Just look up Immortal Snail, Allen Craft YT, it'll show up. It is only for Java. It's a Forge mod, 1.20.1. Uh, so I'm going to hop into survival real quick, and I'll show you how the whole system kind of works. All right, we're here at a swamp. Oh, there's some right there. A couple of these guys hanging out. Let's go ahead and uh, breed them. It takes them a second to start going after each other. And there's a little baby. Very nice. So let's go ahead and spawn in an immortal snail now. We can see him here. I'm gonna switch to survival. See, he comes after me immediately. Let me go back into creative. I'm gonna set a bed. Here we are in survival mode. He's coming after me, he's chasing me. I got my spawn set over here. If he touches me, I'm dead. One shot, instant death, it's over. You can see I have full prop four netherite armor now. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this for the extra absorption hearts. I'm gonna splash myself with this for the resistance and he still one-shots me. He, in fact, does so much damage, you probably heard it there, but he broke my helmet and my boots and have these on red. The king snail, when you transform him, will do the same thing, which is what the snail armor is for. It doesn't matter what enchantments we put on these, the only thing that matters right now is unbreaking, so I'm just gonna put unbreaking three on them. Unbreaking three on all your netherite armor would save it, but you only have a couple hits before he'll, he'll destroy them. But just to show the uh, defense and durability of the snail armor, you can see they're all still green. So this is basically the armor that you'll use for the snail boss fight. Let me show you all the snail king fight now. I'm gonna grab a full stack of these enchanted golden escargots and let's go get our boy. Let's just go ahead and uh, splash them. There they are. Um, F3B, I need to see hitboxes. He's a little hard to get, bit of a tough fight. So you can see how navigating around these guys is kind of annoying. If you splash them again, now they're the rideable version. It's incredibly slow. So you'll probably never actually do that, but it is a way to just get rid of them so you can do the 1v1 right here. Now I've practiced this, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good at it. Oh, it's tough. Oh, he got me. Doesn't matter what armor I'm wearing. At least my armor didn't break because I had the snail armor on. But we're just not going to wear it right now because we don't need it. What I'm going to do instead is eat one of these. And now for 20 seconds, I have resistance 5. He's got a huge knockback, so... Boom. There we go. Anyways, that's going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Go ahead and download the mod, give it a try, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.